Hello, this is the continuation to the uh, tutorial one that we have discussed in the last video. So, as we are discussing about what are different terminologies that we use on the mainframe. So, we, we, we started with uh, the simple definition of the mainframe, then DSO, what is an operating system, and what is a front end, back end, file system, application language, scripting language, ISPF, and how the user ID will be there, and uh, what uh, password is it's a case instance to, and uh, what are the different emulators that we can use to in order to connect to the mainframe system. And uh, the the next important thing is the qualifier uh, that we need to understand so uh, here you can see a name of a file okay this is the name of the file and we call it as a data set okay so and you can see a different qualifiers are there here these are the different qualifiers that you can see here uh, a word that makes up a data set name so each qualifier can consist of up to eight alpha uh, eight eight characters and uh, it ca characters or at a, a numeric okay I can say one two eight one two eight bytes okay each qualifier can be of one to eight bytes here I'm saying one two three four five six and other has four and other has three so it can be maximum of eight and minimum of one and what are the things that we can use you can use alphabets from a to z and 0 to 9 as a numeric and some national characters like uh, uh, dollar hash and at the rate so these are the different characters that we can use while creating a file or a data set the first character the first character always should be a alphabet okay so this is the standard that we use in order to separate the qualifier we use a dot or the period operator period so this is the, the for, for example I wanted to create some uh, data set for a JCL lib something I can create like uh, test dot JCL lib okay so in this way I can create the data set okay. and it is separated by dot 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 and you can see I'm not exceeding more than eight bytes in each qualifier so this is about the qualifier and this is about the rules that we need to know while creating a data set right and then we have another thing called as a sequential data set sequential data set or then we have something called as a partitioned data set what is a sequential data set sequential data sets means uh, uh, it contains the data so whatever the file you are seeing here is right so that is called as a sequential data set and in Windows terminology we call it as a files right in file what we have file contains some information in the same way in sequential data is also a data that is stored what is a partition data set partition data is nothing but it's called as a folder it's called as a folder inside the folder you will be seeing a several sequential data sets and those sequential data sets inside the partition data sets we call them as a members okay so if it is created individually so we separately without any folder being created for that one we call it as a sequential data set if it, if we are creating uh, if we are storing sequential data set inside the PDS so then it is called as a members so sequential data sets are called as a PS files or a physical uh, sequential files sequential files and PDS is named as uh, and uh, PDS ob obviously partition data sets and these are called as a PDS and inside this we can store sequential data sets and these are called as a members right so you'll be coming across these words more and more when you were practicing this mainframes right so just be make a note of it and uh, save it in your memory so sequential data set partition data set members qualifier emulator password ISPF ZOS TSO ISPF these are the different terminologies that we will be coming across while working with the mainframe thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video can or do you want to place any comments or suggestions you can always welcome please do subscribe to my channel for further videos thank you so much again have a great and pleasurable day or an evening